Hi everyone, a couple weeks ago I reviewed this power bank from CDR King, which was 150 peso, 2200 milliamp hour, and now they've got a new one which is also 2200 milliamp hour, but it's just 99 peso. So what's the difference between these? This one also says input voltage 5 volts 1 amp, output 5 volts 1 amp, which is the same as the one I reviewed before, and the capacity is apparently the same. So let's have a look inside. All you get is the box and then the power pack itself and the charge cable which is a micro usb cable pretty much standard now the first thing you'll notice the difference between these they're pretty much the same shape the new one the 99 peso one is a little bit smaller but pretty much identical now on the old one you could remove this and get access to the battery that's inside and you could replace it or you could use this as a 18650 charger or anything like that now for a lot of people they wouldn't care about that um, because you know they have no reason for that but for a lot of us that's actually a really useful feature on the new one once you open it it basically cracks the clips um, and it won't ever go back together properly again so it's not really meant to be opened but I'll open it again and show you you anyway okay so once you open it it looks like this same 18650 battery but this one is soldered in place it's not removable you can see that this one has a soldered tab going up here and then running down the side is another solder tab which goes to the end so it's not a replaceable battery and that's how they've cut the cost down because all they've had to do is solder it directly in place they don't have to worry about a removable top they don't have to worry about putting in the springs or anything like that they just solder it straight in very simple now for your average consumer they probably don't care that this is soldered in permanently because the chances are when this stops working they're just going to throw it away and that's going to be the end of the story um, so for a lot of people they probably appreciate the fact that this is 50 peso cheaper and 99 peso this must be the cheapest power bank in the Philippines so uh, yeah I guess a lot of people won't care about the fact that this is soldered in so let's put this back together and then test it now some people get confused about the rating of the battery for instance this is 2200 milliamp hour but that is at the battery itself inside which is 3.7 volts so if you multiply 3.7 by 2.2 which is amp hours you get around 8 watt hours 8.1 watt hours so you have to bear in mind that it's at the voltage of 3.7 volts and not 5 volts which is what you're charging your device at you also have to consider that there is some loss going from 3.7 volts and upping it to 5 volts for your USB. Plus, there's some loss when, for instance, let's say you're charging your phone. Your phone is then going to drop that 5 volts back down to, say, 4 volts or 4.5 to charge its internal battery. So there's a lot of wastage because people think, okay, if my cell phone has a 2000 milliamp hour battery this will refill it completely but they're not taking into account the losses going out of this and then from their phone going into the phone's battery so you do have to consider that to be fair now i hooked up a dummy load to this and measured how much power i got out of it it's meant to be a total of 8.14 watt hours and i got out around 6 watt hours which is okay it's not amazing but it's not awful either because you do have to take into account the loss going from the battery to the usb because i measured it from a usb based load so it's not too bad i'm pretty happy with it definitely worth the 99 peso so let's test if we can really get one amp out of this because when i was buying this the people at cd King were like sir it's only for dumb phones don't buy it for a smartphone it can't be used for a smartphone blah 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 I said yeah 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 just give it to me I want to try it so um, it does work fine with my iPhone so I'm not really sure what they were talking about I guess they probably just had customers go back in saying oh it only charges it like halfway or something anyway so let's use my watt meter to measure if we can get that one amp out so let me zoom in on this okay turn on the backlight we're getting around 0 0.8, 0 0.9. It's fluctuating a little bit. That also depends on the phone itself or whatever you've connected. So I think that's close enough to one amp to say, yeah, that's good. Now it also says it charges at one amp. Unfortunately, this is fully charged, so I can't show you that, but I did measure with my power meter and it did charge at one amp. So pretty much everything it says on the box is pretty accurate. And for 99 peso, you really can't complain. Um, these are great to have around in emergencies. Even if you don't use them for your cell phone, you can use them as like an emergency light because you can buy something like this from CDR King and you just plug that in. 
and there you go you've now got an emergency light now this one is around I can't remember off the top of my head, I think around half a watt, so it's not the brightest, but it's pretty bright, it, it's okay, it'll do you in a pinch and it'll run for a very long time on the battery in here. So that pretty much sums up this portable power bank. At 99 pesos, it has to be the cheapest around. Um, don't open it up because the clips break and you'll never get it back together quite right. Um, personally, I'm just going to put a piece of tape around this and that'll be fine. I don't have any issue with that. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.